Sorry that our featured vocalist, Miss Georgia B. Good, couldn't be with us this evening. She was passing by a shipyard where she was mistaken for a tanker and christened and launched. <laughs> hey, 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 Doc, well, since she ain't here, why don't you let me sing, man? Look here. Because the last time you sang, it was to the police, and I was in jail for three months. <laughs> yeah, Doc, man, why don't you give the man a chance? Listen, listen, Bernstein. This is my group. I don't see Bernstein and his pork chops on that drum nowhere. And I guarantee you one thing you'll never see is Bernstein with pork chops. <laughs> Wait a minute, man. Why don't you let me sing? You, you know I can do it. Of course I know you can, but, but why I want you to stay with me, someday I'm going to have my names and lights. The only way your name going to be in life, you have to change it to exit. Hey. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look who's here. Lou Norba, uh, Lou Baby, what's the good word? Well, the good word is that um, it would be good if I got somebody to take your place. <laughs> but instead of that, I'd like you to meet once again the talent scout from the Starbucks studios in uh, Hollywood, Mr. Raymond J. Johnson. <laughs> How do you do, Mr. Johnson? Oh, you does not ask to call me Johnson. <laughs> My name is Raymond J. Johnson, Jr. Now, you can call me Ray. Or you can call me Jay. Or you can call me Johnny. Or you can call me Sonny. Or you can call me Junior. Or you can call me Ray J. Or you can call me RJ. Or you can call me RJJ. Or you can call me RJJ Jr. But he doesn't have to call me Johnson. Thank goodness you're not twins or we'd be here all night. I was in Paris all night. I was here to see some new talent. This being amateur night again and all of that. Well, now, uh, why don't you introduce the acts, Mr. Johnson? Oh, you doesn't have to call me. <laughs> Say, where were those hands last? <laughs> you know, there's a sign on the wall saying you're supposed to wash after each time you do. <laughs> Okay, let's get on with this thing here now. Our first amateur tonight, and I mean amateur with a capital A. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the comedy of Mr. Dewey Stops. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> this is my first time in a club. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Let me warm up here for a second, huh? Feel better. <laughs> Hi there. My name is, uh, is Dewey Stotts. Oh, my God, it's Dewey Stotts. Okay, settle down, settle down. <laughs> what are you gonna do for us? Well, I thought I'd do some impressions. And we'll do it, do it. Okay, settle down, settle down. <laughs> well, here it is. The old comic suitcase, huh? If this thing could only talk. I can, I can. Whoa. <laughs> settle down, settle down. Ah, look what we have here. Look what we have here, huh? You like this stuff? Yeah. It's that popping stuff. Isn't this fun? <laughs> Remember in high school when you used to wake up in the morning and look in the mirror? Here's one, but ladies and gentlemen, this is a wonderful thing. I think you'll like this. Do it! Yeah! Okay, we'll get right to it. This is a uh, little putty right here, and with this, I'd like to do a 
another great moment for you in comedy. This is, uh, this is a man who just had plastic surgery done on his nose, steps out of the hospital, and guess what? He sneezes, and it goes a lot like this. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, Doc, good job. No, don't worry about it. Good job. Yeah, That's all right. No, it's okay. That's all right. That's all right. And now, wrapping up this fast-paced comedy, here's Sammy Davis Jr. looking over today's script. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> How about some insult humor right now, huh? Because everybody likes to laugh at themselves, don't they? They sure do. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I saw an Indian in the audience tonight. I uh, knew he was an Indian because he was out front scalping tickets. <laughs> That's enough laughing at ourselves right now. <laughs> Excuse me, now I go laugh at my doctor. <laughs> well, what did you think of him? Well, he didn't move very much, so he was an easy target. <laughs> okay, our next target is... I mean, our next act. Our next act is... The Unknown Comic. And after you see what he does... You'll see why no one will admit that they knows him. So here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the unknown comic. All right, how do you like the show so far? <laughs> oh, wow, just a minute, my socks are coming down. Just a second. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sonny Bono is finally happy about the breakup of his marriage. Yeah, he found out he doesn't have to pay as much taxes. You see, he's no longer a shareholder. <laughs> uh, I gotta tell you the truth, you're lucky I made it here tonight. I didn't get much sleep last night, but I guess you can see that by the bags under my eyes. <laughs> yeah, I've had a cold all week. Action! Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Besides that, I just got some bad news. My uncle just died drinking shellac. <laughs> oh, it's okay, he had a nice finish. All right. <laughs> I'd like to do some magic for you. I'm gonna show you all an amazing feat. <laughs> Look at that feat, isn't it amazing? <laughs> just kidding. Notice right here, I have an empty bag. <laughs> I'm talking about this one, all right. I am now going to do this trick without any mirrors, without any props, and without any... Uh, underwear. <laughs> uh, notice I have here a white handkerchief, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to take this white handkerchief and place it into the empty bag. There it goes. It is now in there. I am now going to take, ladies and gentlemen, a black handkerchief, put it into the empty bag with the white handkerchief. It's in there now. I am now going to blow the magic potion into the bag. <laughs> Abbott Kazan, Laney Kazan. Ladies and gentlemen, the black handkerchief is now white. The white one is now black. <laughs> I gotta tell you. Okay, all right, you've seen the unknown comic. You've seen him do jokes. You've seen him do magic. You're saying, does he do impressions? Well, does a snake have hips? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'd like to start off with a quick impression of a headache. <laughs> Thank you. My impression of the number four. <laughs> and now, for my final impression from The Exorcist, my impression of Linda Blair. <laughs> I think you're lucky he ran out of arrows. <laughs> oh, contrary, my little licorice stick tutor. I happen to love this guy. Gentlemen, can I have the fanfare? 
garbage can with your head. <laughs> hey, wait, if my grandfather hears about this, he'll die when he hears I win. Grandfather, come on in here, granddad. I told you he'll die. <laughs> what did you ever see in that guy? Well, I'll be perfectly honest with you, Dr. Sausage. It's not what I sees in him, it's what I sees in his sister, Yvette. <laughs> I'll be uh, seeing you around, Dr. Sausage. Well, with any luck, he'll be hitting the sack early tonight. 